Yeah, no, it was a great event for us in Saint-Tropez, coming on the back of uh, quite a long dry spell, or far too long dry spell. But the team kept digging hard and pushing hard, and we had a fantastic final race with the Aussies in Spain. And to come out on top in those conditions in front of that crowd was a great moment for the team. Saint-Tropez, we, we, it felt like if we did make mistakes that we, we recovered from them better, and the communication on board the boat seemed to be a step up from, from what it has been. Hopefully we've got the momentum with us now, we can build on that and have another strong event here in, in uh, Tra Tra Taranto. Yeah, we have a Athena Pathway program, which is our, our route through from junior sailing through to Olympics and Sail GP and, and, and other sort of major events that we're, we're involved in. And that's a great opportunity for the youngsters to, to aspire to Sail GP and, and that route through and, and giving them the tools and the training and the opportunities to do that. Uh, the British spotted a wind shift, we didn't, and they decided to take that side of the course. We knew they were going to split no matter what, and we just had to, as soon as they split, try to get over to them as quick as we can. But they did it at the perfect time. Um, they timed it perfectly with the shift, and we weren't able to get across and cover them in time. We did get there, but we weren't able to pull off the, that foiling tack in light, weird, light wind. So, uh, look, uh, honestly, that's sailing, and... Ben and his team put themselves in the right position at the right time to have that opportunity for that wind shift and you just got to take your hat off to them and congratulate them. Um, our team came up with an innovative uh, idea to use single-use plastics into um, which become as um, repair jobs while you're on the water for our fairings. When the boats have a big crash and they need to replace a fairing, uh, they came up with a really um, amazing idea with single-use plastics, how we can um, do that repair on the water in a cool way. So uh, ideas like that are things that are going to move the uh, Sao GP forward and move the Impact League forward and lower our footprint. And yeah, the fact that we're on top of the Impact League is um, yeah, it's all it's almost more satisfying than the actual points because we've never been up there before. And um, yeah, hopefully we can hold on uh, as we go into this season. Yeah, it was pretty nice for us to, to get another podium in Saint-Tropez. It was quite a, a difficult weekend for us. Uh, many things happened there in Saint-Tropez and yeah, making the podium in the, on that last race was, was epic for us. Yeah, like actually being on the, on the finals, I think, makes you more prepared to, to perform on the, on the finals. Uh, it's super important to, to get to those finals, which is a super, super hard thing to do. And we've been always focusing on that. And we, by being in two finals, we, we saw some stuff that is different. And, and yeah, we, if we make another one at some point, we, we will be more prepared for sure. Yeah, for sure. I think we're all excited to get uh, some good breeze. It's been a while we didn't raise those boats uh, at high speeds. And uh, of course, the Italian crowd is very passionate as well. So I'm sure we'll have some uh, nice atmosphere here. And uh, yeah, we're super excited to go on the water today and see how it's like. Yeah, sure. I think uh, it, was, it was always, we knew that event we would lose our, our wing trimmer just as a one-off and uh, having Glenn as a backup is quite a, a luxurious uh, <laughs> replacement. And uh, yeah, he's been part of the team for a long time. We know him well and he knows those kind of boats and those kind of wings really well. So yeah, we sailed with him already in San Fran and in similar setups, same, same board, same wings. So yeah, we're pretty confident heading into that event with him. Uh, buongiorno tutti. Scusa, però mio italiano e non va bene. Uh, grazie, grazie. Allora, mio parla inglese. Molto scusa. Grazie tutti. So, I'm going to speak in English just so my friends here on the left can understand what I'm saying. And at the same time, I don't damage an incredibly beautiful language. But yeah, it is great to be back in Italy. As everyone knows, it's one of my most favourite places to live and to race. We enjoyed a fantastic series when we are here in Season 2. We made the final. I mean, yeah, the Italian fans are some of the best in the world. There's no, it's not a question. Everyone knows that. They're very, very passionate. They have a huge love for the ocean and the water and racing and sport in general. And I've experienced that firsthand and there, there's just a lot of excitement here in Toronto. I mean, just landing at the airport, uh, 
you know, uh, immigration, the security, they all knew what was going on and they wanted photos. Walking around the street, seeing all the junior sailors here this morning, it's, uh, it's one of the best places to hold uh, a sailing race, especially one of the top events, if not the top event, being Sail GP. So, yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's such a cool place to race.